That's cool. I have to admit, that's really cool. Time Warner Interactive. Um, I've actually talked about this game in depth with uh, someone who had worked with Time Warner Interactive, developed some games with them, like uh, the virtual racing port for Saturn T Mech. I like the graphics here, they're really sharp. It's a very sharp menu. I like the spinning options. Um, I'm going to go for a casual game here so I can talk without tripping over my words too much. All right, let's see if I can even remember the controls. One player. Now this is something I don't really like. Um, a lot of games go with this, where uh, arcade ports, where they'll have you put in your name and even show your score, but they don't save the data. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, oh, here you have a decent selection of uh, vehicles, though they don't really stand out from one another very much. It's kind of a shame in that respect, but uh, I'm not going to complain. All right, let's go. Okay, B is standard weapon. Ah, oh, there we go. A is special. I love that fucking weapon. It's one of the reasons I choose this vehicle. Uh, something's in my way. I do like how uh, the voices come in. They're like, you are winning. You are losing. There we go. <laughs> and it does give me a good, like, ego boost to hear that. Excellent. There we go. Yeah, the first round really isn't all that difficult. Obviously, it's uneasy, and this is just to give you the lay of the land. Uh... Oh, the reflector shield is C. I really don't know what the other buttons do. Um, this may not be one of those games that really takes advantage of the six button. Oh, that is a neat shot. Thank you. <laughs> Time is running out, but I'm way ahead of the game. Yep. Cease fire. Now, you may have noticed that there's no music during the match. Yeah, uh, which is kind of a bummer, but if I remember what I read about the arcade game, is that it had like a quadraphonic sound system, so it was supposed to make it feel more immersive, having, you know, just being surrounded by the sound effects and shit, which I, I get it, but... And really, if you're in an arcade, it doesn't really matter, because oftentimes arcades just sound like pop music or whatever death metal is popular at the time. <laughs> so it's like the arcade provides its own soundtrack in many respects. But when you're at home, yeah, you may as well throw on the iPod or if you do what I did when I was a kid, um, when I played this for the first time, I would throw on Tool. For whatever reason, uh, Undertow. Uh, I know I'm losing. I'm trying, asshole. I'm getting there. Just... You say you see the radar there. Now, oh yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, fuck, that was a miss. You try to take some of the edge off yourself by because it it can be hard to aim with that weapon because it does move so fast. Oh, get out of my way! I want weapons. So you try to aim as best you can and hope that they get stuck on something, so... Ugh. Oh, shit! Oh. See, it, it is a fun game, and it's fairly simple. It doesn't really lag. Um, in this area, I think it's the worst, because if I remember how the 32X really works, the Genesis and the 32X have to work in conjunction to... Uh, create a lot of these visuals. So the Genesis will be responsible for the HUD um, and maybe some background elements like the, the background layer. But otherwise, the 32X is doing all the sprite scaling, rotation effects, and obviously there are obstacles here. You took my life, you son of a bitch. Ugh. 
Oh, whoa. <laughs> I didn't realize you would see the rocket. Your camera would just stick there. Oh, man, I did really well. Okay, that's good. Mm. Even on the easy setting, I can I can get my ass whooped once I get to baked. Um, it's a tad harder. And I guess it's kind of cool that it lets you that it lets you switch vehicles between rounds. But me, I typically like to stick to one vehicle. Oh, oh. that guy is typically weak. There are some neat elements here, and if you notice, it, it is it's starting to chug a little bit. God damn it. There we go. Man, that didn't take long. Whoa! That sucks when you, you it takes you a while to hit anything. Oh, I got destroyed. That is neat how the camera, yeah, just swirls about there and you just pop out of existence to reappear in the middle of the battleground. That is one thing. If you know certain vehicles are weak, it's good to target them to get uh, your points up faster because they don't require as much effort to destroy. But it's fun. I mean, it's not great. It's not twisted metal by any stretch of the imagination. It's close, but it's not. <laughs> Doesn't have that hard-hitting soundtrack and you know, that crazy shit one associates with those games. Well, that was overkill. Now, I think if they had done a few things to make it stand out for the home port, um, maybe add music, uh, maybe try and give uh, these battlegrounds more uh, flourish, maybe. Um, yeah, it would have been pretty goddamn cool, but... Yeah, uh, as, as it is now, it's just okay. You know, I, I would say it's better okay. It's a, it's slightly above average because it is fun. It's easy to pick up and play. Uh, um, and as far as you know, when you talk about the games that are really rare and expensive, oh, that was weird. Um, well, for the 32x and shit, like Spider-Man: Web of Fire, if you're not aware, that was like one of the last games released for the 32x in North America, and it commands quite a bit of money um looking at that game on youtube i really don't want anything to do with it not that i'm a huge gotcha not that i really have a huge fondness for spider-man but looking at the game I, it just doesn't look that good and it's especially disappointing when you take into account if i remember correctly it was developed by blue sky who gave us vector man which was a technically impressive game for the time but uh, you don't see that greatness uh, in, in that game. You don't see, like, oh, wow, this came from those guys? Oh, shit! God damn it. Oh, this guy's rocking deflectors. Oh, there we go. Good. Knocked him out. Oh, yeah. I think I got some help there from Baked. <laughs> um, oh, shit. Fuck. Shit on me. Yeah, trying to get this bastard is going to be really hard. Um, well, maybe not really hard. It's going to be... It, it's going to be a, a chore. <laughs> it's not going to be a cakewalk, but... I'll be praying for bosses as easy as baked once I get a little further ahead. Oh, there we go. Landed below. Ugh. God damn it. You son of a bitch. There we go. Gotcha. You have defeated Baked. <laughs> I love the voice. You have defeated Baked. Good. It's weird having loading times. I mean, it's, it's a fucking cartridge, right? 
Middle rung. Okay. Um, I don't know what other criticisms I really have other than that. A lot of the stages start to look alike after a while. I mean, they're really just the same goddamn thing, just different colors and what have you. It's not startling in any way, shape, or form, but... Okay, I think the X button is actually like a quick turn because I feel like I move faster. Where the hell are you? There we go. See, you go for him because he tends to be the weak. The weaker. Ooh. I hate that transporting shit. Oh, hello, asshole. Sometimes the radar is a little confusing. I think it's because of all those dots. They start to look alike after a while. I really need health right now. I need to blow somebody up, like, big time. Oh, shit. God damn it. There we go. Oh. Get it, get it! Get get the kryptonite, come on! Or the green ring, I don't know what the fuck it is. Oh, get weapons, get weapons! Ah, there we go. Damn, where are these guys? Uh, it's... I hate these levels a little bit, because they are a little confusing. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Now, I'm probably doing pretty well on the... Uh, 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 shit. Well, at least I'm still winning. Mech destroyed by jerk. <laughs> so, and that's another thing, too. Seek revenge. That is pretty cool. Um, you can seek revenge, which, get, which gives you greater points. Yeah! See? That's revenge killing. Oh, stop blocking the life, you asshole. Fuck it, I'm just gonna fuck you in the ass with all these blasters. Oh, I got him. Oh. You'd think I was decent at this game, but again, realize this is easy. Um, it is a little harder uh, on normal. I remember it being much harder on normal because I couldn't be big to save my life. Um, I've yet to play this two-player because really, I have very few friends that live near me that want to try this shit. Um, if they want to play two-player, they want to play the stuff they remember from when they were growing up, like, uh, Mortal Kombat or Streets of Rage, um, or fighting games. I have a, I do have a few acquaintances that like to dig in on fighting games, especially ones that they never got to play, like, uh, no, like Groove on Fight. I don't think that ever came to North America. Look at all this mucus. Oh, Jesus. I am dead last on this fucking round so far. Just blow up. Maybe if I... I know I'm losing. Oh, that son of a bitch. Well, at least I've moved up a little bit, but... The explosions are a little different here, I've noticed. It's kind of neat. Come on. Good, I took the lead. Just gotta maintain it. That's another thing too, you can die as many times as you want here and it's not going to really affect you. But you just gotta make sure that you do well. Um, otherwise, that that's how you win, is if you're, I mean, that's how you lose, if you're like dead last in, in the point scale. Shit. Uh, I killed somebody. 
didn't get my revenge kill. Ah, That must be weird if you're, like, in the game universe and shit just stops, you know? Shaka. Shaka Khan. Shaka didn't want that. Shaka mad. Shaka mad? Shaka be really mad. If you are a fan of Kevin Smith, you'll understand that joke. <laughs> um, when so man, you know what? Not a joke. It's a reference. Because I'm a dork like that. Whoa, shit, shit, shit. God damn. Why would be one crazy motherfucker? fuck is that? I had never seen that, those fucking things before. Oh my god. Shit. Finally landed a blow on this son of a bitch. Oh god, he won. Oh. Get three credits though. I'll give it another shot. Wasn't doing too bad. Hmm. I'll give him a shot. Why not? Get a different vehicle, different attack, maybe it'll be cool. Yeah, because your standard weapon, again, it's your standard weapon. There we go. Oh god, that sucks. The mines can hurt you. Uh, your own mines can hurt you. Out of my way! There we go. Oh shit. And speed is not this vehicle's uh, strong suit, I feel. Where the hell are you? God damn it, what the hell am I hitting? What the fuck? Something is stopping me. I don't even know what. I'm stuck in something. Ah. Son of a bitch. This mine did not help me. Fuck. I'm dead. I am so fucking dead. Yep, out of time, and he's gonna win.
I get it. Oh, just said too slow. So, oh no, I still lose. I will again. Fuck it, I'll stick with what I know. Oh boy. Forgive me if I get quiet, but I really want to fucking win. I gotta concentrate. Ah, god damn it. God damn it. Ugh. There we go. Son of a bitch. Bingo. Gotcha, shotgun. Shock is on my ass. God damn it, he is too goddamn fast. I really hate Shaka right now. God damn it! <sighs> All right, I give up. Uh, no, I give up. I know it says continue, but I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I give up. I'm annoyed. Um, but anyway, that was T Mac, and if you haven't played it, um, yeah, I'll let the footage speak for itself, really. And you've already heard what I've had to say. Um, if it's one of those games you have yet to add to your 32X collection, then, um, judging from what you saw, there you have it. I mean, personally, I think you can do a lot worse on 32X, which I will show next time. But, uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed the video, and, uh, keep gaming. <laughs>